And hello YouTube, how's it going for you today? My name is Dartsom and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed 3. We're going to do some more of that. Today we're going to go and talk to pretty much whatever Achilles wants us to do. So we'll see what's up with him. It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Oof. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? Well, that plan really panned out well. Oh, right. Let's see. Can we get on here? Uh, where are we supposed to go? Head on to the frontier. All right. Now this video is pretty much the first one that I've that I'm recording as a freaking thirty year old. Pretty much had my birthday yesterday. Recording this on the sixteenth. It was an overall it was an overall fun fun time I suppose. It was um it snowed for pretty much most of the day, but Turned into pretty much a cold, cold time anyway. Um, but overall, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like we don't have to go very far to get into where we need to go. But uh, some of the stuff that I got, I got a couple of shot glasses from my roommate, uh, a couple of DVDs uh, from my mum, pretty much stuff that I was interested in getting. Reach Johnson undetected. So let's see. So Johnson's gonna be way over there. At, uh, play the quiet game. Um. Alright. Fair enough. Since pretty much the game doesn't want me to go over there, I'll just adhere to it. Um, a couple of other things going on in my life. Um, in terms of channel, I uh, will. Oh, no. No, bear! Haha. <laughs> Haha, you stupid bear can't even get me in the water. That's yeah, right, a restricted area.
Hopefully they didn't see me. Uh, we'll be... I'll still upload videos on for Thanksgiving, but it won't be what I've done before in the past, which is videos that are like an hour long. Haven't really had any real need to do that. Don't really want to waste my time, but uh, for videos, probably on Christmas, I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely take my time to do those like hour long, hour long videos. Yeah, sweet. How special is that? Uh, um, where, oh. Is this where we have to go? There we go. No. Alright. So it'll be just the usual two, two videos on, the, on Thanksgiving. As far as what they will be, yeah, it's kind of up to. It's really up to me, I suppose. Can I kill that guy? Kill him. Yeah, whatever. And down he goes. Well, I screwed up the optional objective. Uh, but I really care about it. But I'll just kill that guy. And watch him prematurely fall to his death. I always love that. Always a classic. Uh, so it looks like we're probably too late into stopping the little powwow. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Wasn't even looking. Uh, what if I don't want to? I'd rather not want to go back, come back up and see you guys. That would not be my best interest. Uh, looks like I have to climb my way up. I'll just tie in these bushes here. Move over. I guess the least I can do is try to act covert the rest of it. Oh, sweet. Peace! Peace! Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwich. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. 
So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Limits, Native American casualties, there's only just one. Well, I'll we'll just pretty much take the ladder to the mansion and then we'll give old Johnson the... Still dope. Oh, dang it. I failed with another one. Sign the contract or more will die. Ah! Oh, here we go. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, but we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. It is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Uh, well. <laughs> No, they're not happy. Uh, pretty much in reality, pretty much the colonists do eventually turn on the freaking Indians. Or Native Americans, rather. I'm, I'm almost dead. Ah, crud. I died. Sweet. Let's see where this is gonna put me. Alright. Well. Might as well use the Tomahawk. to use freaking explosives on me. So Johnson was kind of somewhat right. The American colonists would turn after pretty much there was no more fights to be had.
Uh, do I really want to fight these guys? Uh, not really. Yeah, my health is starting to really get low. Like six years, pretty much after this, after events in this game, pretty much Andrew Jackson would, pretty much, of course, a lot of the Indian tribes east of the Mississippi to move elsewhere. Pretty much. Oh my God. You know, I'm just gonna run away. I don't really give a shit. Perform a swan dive. And we'll just do that. Oh yeah, that is what they want. Sweet. Coolio. Watch that guy's over there. But... And we only got one. Whatever. Memory sequence six is complete. Cool. And generally, in general, I think William both Jones the British dead, and the free and with him colonists. the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. But I need to find him. He needs to die. Oof. So we're in 1775. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... <laughs> Just like that. Alright, we'll pick up on that memory next time. Um, also do laundry too, so pretty much have to keep an eye on the timer there. Pretty much whenever my wash is done. So uh, until next time, my name is Dart Tom, and I will see you guys 